Hello! In this lesson, I'm going to show you all about rugs. I'm going to show you how to measure a pony for a rug, and I'm also going to show you some basic types of rugs and how to put them on. I'm going to show you how to measure a pony for a rug. This is Hubie. We're going to measure him for a rug, and then we're going to put a rug on to fit him. Firstly, you get a measuring tape, or you can use a lunge line and then measure the lunge line. You get the front end of the tape, pop it in the centre of his chest, move along the length of his body, all the way round to his buttock. Hubie has measured 180 centimetres, so I'll go to my tack shop and ask the lady for a rug that will fit a horse that's 180 centimetres. It will be approximately six foot. A cooler rug is made of a special fabric. It helps to wick away moisture whilst keeping him warm at the same time so that he doesn't get a chill. If you don't put a cooler rug on a sweaty horse, he might get cold. Is wearing a stable rug. Okay, stable rugs aren't waterproof, so you can't turn them out in the field. This stable rug has got a neck cover to keep his neck warm. He's also got a gusset on his shoulder to help his legs move freely. When we come to the back, he's got a fillet string under here. The fillet string must always go underneath the horse's tail. The fillet string prevents the rug from blowing up in the wind and coming over the horse's back. This is a cooler rug. I'm going to show you one way on how we can put a rug on. Hubie is very experienced on having rugs on and off. If you were to put a rug on a nervous horse, you'd take extra care. <coughs> Find where the wither part is, usually it's quite fluffy or it's got fleece lining. Hold the shoulders either side. Place it over the horse's back. The first buckles that you do up are his breast buckles. Once his breast buckles are done, I'm going to reach under his belly and get his cross surcingles. The front surcingle comes to the back, and the back surcingle comes to the front. This rug has got a fillet string, so I have to make sure that Hoobie's tail is over the top of the fillet string. This is to prevent the rug blowing up if it was a windy day. His breast buckles at the front are not too tight so it's not restricting on his neck. <clears throat> his surcingles want to be tightish but not too tight that they're rubbing on his belly or too loose that you can see them dangling down. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how to take the cooler rug off. First of all we start at the back of the horse. We pull his tail on the other side of the fillet string. Then we undo the cross surcingles. The last ones that we undo are his breast buckles. Then you hold the front of the rug and slide it off the horse. I'm now going to put Hubie out in the field. I have put a turnout rug on. A turnout rug is made of a very tough material. It's waterproof but breathable so it helps to keep him warm and dry. The breast buckles are, fast, are fastened just like the other rug. <clears throat> he hasn't got a neck cover but there's D-rings here that you could attach a neck cover to easily if you wanted to put a neck cover on him. He's got a gusset, a leg gusset for movement. And he's also got his cross uh, singles, the front one to the back, the back one to the front, just as the other rugs did. The tail flap helps to keep his bottom warm and dry when it's raining. What's different about a turnout rug is that he's got leg straps. So I'm going to show you how to fasten the leg straps together. The 
The leg straps will dangle at the side of the rug. Bring it on the inside of the leg, making sure it's not twisted. And clip it on to the ring. With your second one, thread it through and then clip it on. The leg straps need to be interlinked together so that the individual leg strap doesn't rub against his leg. And now we're going to put Hubert into the field. Another type of rug we're going to talk about is a fly sheet. In the summer you might see horses in the field with rugs on that might look similar to this but they cover the neck and they'll go over the top of the head and even cover their ears. These are called fly sheets. Some horses get affected by the bites that midges give them and flies give them so they can have a very lightweight material rug to keep the flies off. Another type of rug you might see is a show rug. These are very smart rugs that you might see at shows. They're usually very nicely decorated and they sometimes have embroidery around the very edge of the rug in gold or silver binding. They might also have the sponsor's name or a logo on the back end of the rug. One way to check to see how warm or cold your pony is, is by holding the base of his ear. By holding the base of his ear, he will give you an indication of if, if he's cold or if he's warm. This horse has been rolling, so before I put a rug on him, I will need to give him a brush. You need to brush the horse before you put a rug on, so that the dirt doesn't irritate him. Before putting your pony's rug on, you must always tie him up. To tie him up, you will need to put on his head collar. Make sure the head collar is done up nice and tight so that it doesn't slide off his nose. Always make sure that the end of the head collar is fastened through the buckle. Once the head collar is on, you then clip the lead rope to the head collar, the ring that's underneath his chin, and then tie him up in his stable. Make sure you always use a quick release knot to tie up your pony. Make sure the knot is nice and tight. Once your pony is tied up and secure, hold the shoulders of the rug and slide it over his back. The first buckles that you do up are his breast buckles. Once you've done up his breast buckles, reach underneath his belly and fasten his cross surcingles. The front surcingle 
fastens to the back fastening and the back surcingle fastens to the front fastening. Once you've done the cross surcingles, pull his tail over the top of the fillet string. His tail must always be on top of the fillet string that stops the rug from blowing up in the wind. Your pony is now ready to go into the field or be taken for a walk. And you can see behind him there that the tail is over the top of the fillet string. Once you've taken your pony for a walk or put him in the field, you can then tie him back up and take his rug off. We hope you enjoyed learning this lesson on how to put your crafty pony's rug on. See you later!